Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Shebe90. So friends, I'm there with another video. And in this video, I'll show you one of my latest collection that is for a store manager system. With this uh, simple format, you can maintain your stock or stock goods. So that's how it looks like. Actually, it works on Excel basis. It has total of five sheets like down you can see stock manager right now we're in stock manager page then we have receiving transfer discard and item master uh, so i have designed this very simply so that uh, anyone can understand the concept at the beginning we have the store items like serial number item code and item name then we have the reminder section then we have stock in stock out then balance stock and consumption and at the end we have the variant so this is all about our first page then uh, second page we have receiving section let's have a look at it this format i think uh, will be the most easiest format ever you have seen to maintain your stock when we come to the receiving section as you can see the item code item name and then we have the month name and the date start from one as you can see till 31 I have highlighted 10 20 and 30 dates so that it can be easy for you to count and to add the data simply when you have any goods to receive like carrot i'm going to receive here one nine so this is the carrot one nine we are going to receive five kg of carrot so i add here five kg that's all our store manager here as you can see the carrot has been added in receiving section now total 17 before it was 12 and now we have added 5 so that's how it's pretty simple first page store manager page you have nothing to do all the data will be calculate and update automatically so this is all about our receiving section and transfer section the same way you have to add the value if there is any transfer like carrot we are going to transfer on 10 like 2 kgs so the data will be automatically update to our store manager page then we have the discard section if anything from our store is getting spoiled or we are going to discard it like it's out of date then we can add simply the amount like banana is 111 0 0.5 like half kg is around got a spoil if we scroll right side every page they have a small sum section or inventory section like total kg and its value so all this data will be auto calculate nothing you have to worry about that then we have the item master so friends when you download the format first we have to come to the item master last section at this place we have to add our item details like item code let me show you adding another item so i'll add here black carrot see black carrot i have added and how i have to add the item code so now i'll show you how you can add the item code select the previous item code and simply drag it down so it will automatically give you the item code then we have the brand black carrot is imported it's not a local item imp that means imported as you can see all the brands name if the black carrot is selling by some company like ammo anything can be the brand name if you want to mention you can mention but i am going to keep an imported product and its unit we are going to buy as kg instead of kg if you want to write a gram also you can write gram so one kg is price around two two zero zero so that much and the stock reminder see at the last we have the stock reminder section and after that we have the value available stock as you can see at this place this part of the data will get calculate and update automatically then at reminder section we have to give certain amount of quantity like 5 kg once we have 5 kg left with us the black carrot it will give us a reminder like this place like this place 
if you see some other items showing order that means these items are about to finish and we have to place reorder so that's the reason we have to add the stock reminder amount like i put black credit for 5 kg once we have less than 5 kg it will show us the reminder like order so that's how it works this much in our item master section let's go back to our store manager and at this time you have to do some other things manually like you simply have to copy the item name and the item code and you have to paste it everywhere like stock manager section then receiving area also this is very much important because it's a format it's not an application and even discard section also you have to add manually every item code and its name so now i am done with that i'll go back to the stock manager and as you can see when i put the name it's showing me the unit kg and another thing that i would like to tell you about this format is whatever the sale is colorful don't try to touch or edit any of the value from there only you have to add here opening a stock at this place and closing a stock if any then add like black carrot suppose if we have opening balance 10 kg so we put at 10 kg and according to that all the data will get calculated then we have the receiving section black carrot if we purchase black carrot on 2nd of january 5 kgs we put simply 5 kg then we again receive on 13 like 5 kg and we put 5 kg we scroll right side and you can see the total amount we have received is 10 kg and as you can see the price also got update over here if we are going to transfer the black carrot like 110 we transfer 4 kg of black carrot somewhere else so as you can see the data already got updated so friends this format is pretty simple nothing you have to worry just see the date and according to the date if any item is purchased i mean receiving transfer or discard just keep adding and end of the month you will get all the uh, data information is available with you and at this place i'll show you in opening a stock like previous month we have complete our inventory and we have the opening balance i mean the closing balance that closing balance will be for us opening balance so friends you see how easy the format is to use first you have to come to the item master section add all the ingredients details over here and you jump to the receiving section if is any if there is one to 31 dates so as for the date and um, you can put the value of that item whatever the amount is being received the transfer section also have the similar way even the discard section also so nothing much to worry about that format and we come back to the store manager section and as you can see store in section we have the opening balance so i uh, suppose we have the closing balance from the last month we put that amount in opening section then uh, receiving and total amount will get calculate all the place are filled with color will get updated automatically last we have added the black carrot as you can see its opening balance is 10 kg we have received 10 kg total amount is 20 kg over here and the transfer amount is 4 kg that we have transferred and discard is zero for now and as you can see stock balance is 16 kg so friends that's how we have to keep adding data till 31 or uh, till the end of this month so friends uh, first of all i would like to tell you that this format can be used both other purpose like if you running a uh, small business like restaurants and all or a grocery shop you buying product and selling from there so this time also you can use this format or suppose you are a store manager and also you can use this format for a store manager use also so what is the difference between these two so friends you can see this balance section will be used if you are a store manager or a storekeeper like you uh, receiving the goods and you transferring the goods somewhere else at this time the balance section will be workful for you but if you're running a restaurant and all or you have a store grocery shops or pastry shops at this time you have to add the closing balance to see the consumption right because when we're running a restaurant and all like we are purchasing the goods from outside and we are using it directly this consumption section will be useful for you and if you are a storekeeper this balance section so that's the difference between these two but if you want you can use the both option uh, 
simultaneously and last we have the variant section so let me show you the closing option like how the closing section work like black carrot uh, I show you the balance stock is 14 16 kg after transfer 4 kg from our store then after end of the month when we have the physical inventory completed and we see that we have only 5 kg left of black carrot then see what happened it's showing me the consumption is 11 kg for our own restaurant because 4 kg we have transferred and 11 kg is a consumption and 5 kg we have in hand and the variant section as you can see variant is 11 kg over here it's showing me because so as i mentioned earlier that if you are a storekeeper and you receiving good and transferring to another branch at this time the variant section you have to use you have to see but if you are running a restaurants and all and and you following the consumption section at this time the variant section is not useful for you so we come back and end of the month when we have all the physical inventory section is done like 1 kg 5 kg and 10 kg and all then again when you want this closing section uh, the closing amount will be your opening balance so simply what you have to do simply copy from here to till the end and copy the data and paste it over here so indirectly you getting the, your opening stock and don't delete anything else from this place only delete the closing data uh, before that you copy and paste all the data over here then you go back to receiving area delete all the data from here and your all the data according to that will be reset from here also and the transfer section also whatever the data we have select and delete your receiving section also select and delete discard section also whatever data we have delete but don't delete anything from the uh, item master because we have to use this data for our next month also so as you can see all the data is now 0000, 0, 0, 0. only we have the opening balance that we copy from here and paste it over here right so i'll show you copy and then paste it over here enter and then we delete this data also so friends now our format is again ready to be used for next month so we see how easy it is first time maybe you're a little confused about that but after uh, watch this video two or three times you will be master of using this format so thank you very much if there is any query you can contact me if you want to download this format the link will be description below either you can download from our whatsapp or you can download from our online store so thank you very much for watching this video